This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us stand and praise God from whom all blessings flow.
God feels good, he's still a God of grace.
Lord, help me to hold out our scripture lesson this morning comes to us from the book of Acts, the fourth chapter and the first four verses. Acts, the fourth chapter and the first four verses. And it reads, and as they were speaking to the people, the priest and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, greatly annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed, and the people of the men came to about, and the number of the men came to about 5,000. Amen. Amen. The word of God for the people of God, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us stand from all that world below the sky.
recognize any first-time visitors if this is your first time if you would please stand so we can recognize you okay well it's good to see everyone's home all right next we would like to do praise reports if you have a praise and you would like for us to um, celebrate the Lord with you if you would please stand and give your praise report I want to give praise this morning to God for uh, my son is not here this morning because he is playing AAU tournaments. Um, they've been moving around from Jacksonville to um, Orlando to Charleston, and today he's in Charleston. And they won their last game right now. They should be at halftime in the championship tournament. You know, I just really thank the Lord how um, he allowed Rachel to graduate from Yale University. Four years went by so fast, and God just allowed her to, um, the graduation date will be this Saturday. Um, they're actually having two commencements. One um, is Saturday, and the other one is on Monday. And I praise God. Um, Sarah will be graduating from high school. Rachel's graduating from getting her bachelor degree. Sarah will be graduating from high school, and the um, graduation ceremony will be right here on June the 11th, and we invite all of you to come out to that. It's a, a homeschool graduation. And I just praise God, after 25 years, I went back and I finally got my master's degree. So God is all He allowed all three of us um, to graduate this year in 2022. So just giving God all glory and praise. Amen. Are there any other praise reports? Yes, I have a praise report. My uh, oldest grandson will be graduating from high school uh, the 25th of this month. The 25th. Amen. Going, he's going to graduate. When he graduates the next week, he'll be going to the Marines. He'll be going to the Marines. Awesome. 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 Are there any others? All right. Praise God. God has just been so good. He's bringing all of us through and blessing all of us and our children and grandchildren. Praise God. Next, we would like to recognize any prayer requests. We want to remember the bereaved families. Remember, uh, we Excuse me, sure. one more announcement. Uh, Sister Desiree uh, was a member here. She's graduating from Mercer. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 Yeah, I can like just put uh, on, on the crowd uh, in after uh, he, he recovered fine. He had eye surgery. When the money surgery, he was in the hospital also for something like that. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, so, um, I have a prayer request. Yes. So, um, yesterday I lost all hearing in my right ear, and uh, it hasn't come back. And today I still can't hear out of it. In fact, it's gotten worse. So I ask that you pray that God opens up my ears so I can hear out of it. Amen. 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 So we also want to remember the bereaved families, those who are sick and shut in. We want to remember Brother Anthony Roberts. He had eye surgery recently, and that the Lord will give him a speedy recovery. 
Um, we also want to remember Sister Chiquita Hill. Um, we just continue to pray that God will give her total healing. We want to keep Brother Johnny Roundtree in prayer as well as Brother Lindsay Roundtree. And if there's any unspoken requests, we want to remember those and the ones that were also spoken recently. Are there any others before we go to the Lord in prayer? Okay, if you would please bow your heads. Let's go to our Father. That will be the um, Yale University graduation, which uh, Rachel Roberts will be in. She's going to send a link, and I will post that link so that you all who would like to um, view and be a part of that, you can see it with us. As well as on Monday, the 21st, is also the second Yale commencement. And as before, when she sends me the link, I will send that out for those of you who would like to be a part to see that. Um, on Friday, May the 27th, is the last day of school. Um, and on Friday, May the 20th, is the Scriven County High School graduation ceremony. Um, on Saturday, June the 11th, um, will be Sarah's graduation here at 3 p.m. and the church is invited for that. Church school is on June the 16th through the 18th and the location is to be announced. And on Sunday, June the 26th, we will have our church conference right here and it will be after morning worship. So those are our announcements. And just remember there's nothing you can do to make God stop loving you. He loves you more than you ever know. John 3 and 16 proves it. God bless you. The church says amen. amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. amen. And it's so good to see each and every one of your faces. Please let us encourage our brothers and sisters to be reminded that the doors of the church are reopened. Amen? Amen. 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 And that we are still keeping up with our guidelines. I know that there are a lot of us who are still nervous about our large gatherings and things of that nature, but we do have things in place to help with that. Amen? Amen. 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 And I just want to say thank you to all of you who thought it was not robbery. Come back to the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 It's so good to see you, to be able to fellowship with you, to hear your voices. Amen. Amen. Singing together and praising together and worshiping together. Amen. 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 There's nothing else at this time. Any other announcements? Anything anyone would like to say? Brother Scott? Yes, uh, that's it. Like to remind, uh, for most part, uh, most of the union you know, probably already had your, your, your vaccine shot and everything. It's time for that booster shot. You need to be uh, mindful that that thing wears off the strength of it, wears it down. So don't be set waiting and get caught off guard. Booster shots are available. Don't take your booster shot. And also for the, for the parents who got young people and everything, teach your children to be vigilant and everything. Racism a lot as well. You, we've been talking about Putin and what Putin does and he don't get to know. You see how on the news uh, yesterday where the young guy in Buffalo, not only did he want to kill black people, he want the whole world to see how I did it. 
no shame in what he's doing and everything. So teach your children and everything. The vision and everything. We you know a lot of times we want to protect our children. A lot of times we can't protect them all we so teach them racism and hurtful things. Just so people are smiling at you and everything. It's hurtful that people out there that want to do harm to you. So Very teach them. Your young children teach them and old people that think like a young person. Teach them. The devil is busy and everything. And when you be suspected, things are going to grab you. It's come up and it's grab you. So you go on to this, uh, this, this remind people of things like that. Amen. Yes, ma'am. I would like to get up the fact of this year, all our members who have been paying our missionary dues, all through the, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, COVID. And uh, so we want to reiterate it today to start. Again, the ones who have them or whatever, Amen. 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 Are there any other announcements anything anyone would like to add? I, I would like to add something to yes, um, We have elections coming up, we have primary elections coming up, and um, we all need to go and vote for something, whether it's Republican, whatever you want to vote for. Just get out and vote so they know that, oh, they're here. Amen. They're here. Amen. They're all here. Amen. 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 Um, any others? I would like to piggyback on just a few things. It's good to have wisdom of the elders in the church. Amen? Amen. Some of us, when we're young, we look at these things and it doesn't matter to us because we're not involved in it. But I'll tell you, as you get older, and I was once young, amen. Uh, some would still consider me to be young. Some people think I'm 27. And I've been going to the same place for over 30 years. <laughs> but uh, as I got older, I learned that, you know, the wisdom of the elders will help you navigate your way as you get older. Amen? Amen. So I just thank God for the elders that stand up during the announcements and encourage us with words of wisdom. Amen? Go out and vote. Some people, these younger people today, think they found something with... Uh, politics that your vote don't count. Listen, it counts. It all depends on where it is. Amen. 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 Um, with with the mass shootings and things of that nature, again, let us be vigilant. Amen. Be watchful. Keep yourself out of harm's way. Amen. 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 Uh, when we were younger, we used to run to the fight. But as I got older, I walked away from the fire. Amen? Amen. 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 And for our church family, uh, missionary department, I know we haven't done much during COVID. Amen. But we do go out and do missions when we are here and active. Amen? Amen. Amen. Just be mindful that we do need your support. Amen? Amen. All right. There's nothing else. We're going to ask that the officers come and help us raise our tithe and offering. While they're doing that, the musician will give us some traveling music. Why he will come back and give us a selection, and we'll come back and do what said the Lord. Amen. Amen. I, say, I just want to say good morning, everyone. I look out over the orders, and it looks like it's getting a little full. I'm so glad to see you. Look like I see a crowd out here. And everybody on my right and left stand please.
things come on being all over.
honey love, sugar dumpling. He called her all of the sweet names that he can think of. And she show up. And his friend looked at him and he said, that's really nice, that's really nice, that's a wonderful thing. After all of these years of marriage, 40 something years of marriage, you still look at your wife and you say to her, honey, darling, sweetheart, sugar love, my candy cane, my, 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 my honey pie. You say all of these great things to her. He says, you keep calling her those pet names and I really, really like that. The host said, I want to tell you something. And, this, and, then, and then the friend sat down and he got himself together as he was getting ready to have the wisdom imparted to him. He leaned back in the chair waiting patiently and the man said to be truly honest with you. I forgot her name. <laughs> We've been married 40 years and I stopped calling her her name 40 years ago, and I, I, I just honestly forgot her name. <laughs> the moral of the story is, if you keep doing good things, right. you'll remember the good things. Amen. And it's funny to me that the bad things that we do, we remember those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the good things we do, we forget about this. They remember. One of the issues we have today with many of us is that we don't believe many things. Well, even after eyewitnesses accounts and recordings have been made, we still won't believe. Someone can pull their cell phone out, record something, and somebody will say that was edited. They have a new dance out nowadays where uh, drum majors have been doing it for years and years where they do a slide as they move around. It looks like they're gliding across any surface. I'm pretty sure you see it on TikTok. Now they're looking like they don't watch TikTok. And one of the recordings I was watching someone put up in the corner that's fake. So the young man had to show them that it was real. And even after he showed them it was real, they still said that can't be done. Just because you can't do it, doesn't mean it can't be done. And I know we believe we're good at all things, but there are some things we just can't do. And not only one witness, but we have tendencies to discredit a host of witnesses. There can be a plethora of people standing there watching the very same thing, and we would say, no, that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. We are so indignant and self-righteous, we won't accept anything unless we see it for ourselves. Well. In other words, the entire world is a lie, and we, or I myself, am the only source of righteousness. Well. Just because we don't see it, does not mean that it does not exist. Amen. Amen. Daily arguments of unbelief are conducted to the point of what exists and what does not exist. Yeah. I heard a young man arguing with another guy the other day and he said, oxygen exists. Even if we don't see it, it exists. And science says it's there. He said, but how do you know? <laughs> because you breathe it. <laughs> Energy exists. <laughs> Though we can't see it, scientists says it's there because they did the study. <laughs> Somebody still don't believe it. <laughs> Your brain exists. Even though we can't see it. And some of us, we don't use it. But science says it's there. Because they did the study. So if we can't see it or hear it, it doesn't mean that it's not there. It simply means that one has yet to effectively use the science to discover the element. 
government, one cannot physically use one of their five senses to detect. Amen. The Holy Spirit is there. I can't touch him. I can't see him with my physical. I cannot smell him. Might not be able to hear him. But we know he's there. One thing we must understand is to everything there is a spiritual perspective. And the belief of something create the faith and we need to make things manifest. In other words, if you believe something, it gives you the faith to make things manifest. Amen. If you believe you can be healed, then it shall be so. Amen. The problem with some of us today is that we don't believe we can be healed. It sounds far-fetched that if I say, I believe I can be healed, and it happens, that just seems ridiculous to me. Mm. But where does your faith lie, and what do you believe? Amen. If you believe you can make it, it shall be so. A lot of us take off driving at night. Just last night I left Charleston at 10 o'clock. Got home at 12. Tired and sleepy, but my belief was I can make it with Jesus on my side. Amen. And we made it. Amen. And I thank God for safe travel. Yeah. A lot of us get in our cars and we just drive, but we don't realize that there has to be something covering you. Amen. Amen. We today as believers, we find that in the same, in the name of Jesus, many things have come to pass. Amen. 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 Just in the eyewitnesses' accounts of using that name, some things have come to pass. Amen. Just in the trials of those who used his name, some things have come to pass. Yeah. We find that in his name, Many have been healed. Yeah. We find that in his name, many have been raised from the dead. Amen. And I'm like the songwriter when he says, it's something about the name Jesus. Amen. There's something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. It is the sweetest name I know. Amen. You ever called on the Lord? Amen. And y'all don't like y'all did. We in the house of the Lord. And, and the preacher's asking the question, have you ever called on Jesus? There should be some shouting and some raisings of hand when somebody asks the question, have you ever called on Jesus? Because just remembering where you used to be hard times. Yeah, Jesus has brought us through some rough times. Jesus has brought us over hills and mountains and through the valley. Jesus, in his name, we have discovered some things. In the name of Jesus, some of us have been healed. Amen. Here in the Bible, as they were speaking to the people, the priests and the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came upon them greatly annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. Amen. It's funny to me that whenever you go somewhere and you begin to speak on the name of Jesus, there's always someone there to contradict what you're saying. Amen. It's amazing to me, but I, I, I understand that in God's word, he says, whenever you start out to do good, Amen. evil is 
is always present. Doesn't matter if you're talking about Jesus, there's somebody there who don't want to hear it. My Bible also tells me, but in the name of Jesus, every demon shall flee. Have you ever used the name of Jesus in the midst of some people who did not want to hear the name of Jesus? You call his name and they say, you know what? I ain't got time for this. And they will walk away from the conversation. Don't nobody want to hear your preaching. Don't nobody want to hear your teaching. What in the world are you talking about? We are in a professional establishment. You know you're not supposed to be talking about religion in this place. I'm going to report you to HR, but in the name of Jesus. Bible says that they arrested them and put them into custody until the next day, for it was already evening, but many of those who had heard the word believed, and the number of men came to about 5,000. Amen. It's amazing that when you hear the word of the Lord and when you understand what took place and, and you see some things, you can go ahead and believe that Jesus can do the same thing for you. Amen. Amen. So many doubters out there today, and some of the reasons they don't believe because they hadn't tried Jesus. I heard somebody say, Try Jesus. He's all right. Amen. I've tried him, and he's all right. On the next day, uh, their rulers and the elders of the scribe gathered together in Jerusalem with an with Annas and the high priest and Caiaphas and John and Alexander and all who were of the high priestly family. And when they had set them in the midst, they inquired by what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, let me tell you something today. I want you to know that when you feel with the Holy Spirit, you don't have to worry about what you're going to say. When you feel the Holy Spirit, all you got to do is open your mouth and the Holy Spirit will speak on your behalf. You don't have to worry about being professional. You don't have to worry about searching for those highfalutin words. You don't have to worry about how the conversation is going to turn out. All you got to do is open your mouth and when the Holy Spirit is upon you, when you walk away, everything will be just like it's supposed to be. When he set them in the midst, they inquired by what power, by what name do you do this? The rulers of the people and the elders, if we are being examined today concerning the good deed done to a crippled man, by what means this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and all of the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who whom God raised from the dead, by him this man is standing before you well. Do you know how bold Peter had to be as the Holy Spirit filled him to stand in front of the high priest and all of the elders and proclaim Jesus and accuse them of what they've done knowing that, they, that his life rested in their hands? What But he said, by what name do you do these things? He said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, I want you to, when you're in trouble, just stand there and proclaim the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. This man was doing well, and you want to question what I got going on. And when I tell you what I got going on and you see the power of the name of Jesus, you got something that you need to say directly after that. I don't know about you all, but if I'm standing in the midst of the people and somebody calls on the name of Jesus and I see a crippled man get up and walk, I don't have any other questions but to believe in the name of Jesus. I can be here. Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you. 
they saw the boldness of Peter and John. They perceived that they were uneducated, common men. They were astonished and they recognized that they had been with Jesus. Ain't it funny that when you start getting the best of somebody, they attack you somewhere else? It's crazy to me that if you're doing well on your job, they go directly to your education to show that you're not educated enough to have this position. Amen. It's amazing to me that the more work you do and the better your performance is, they don't want to give you more, they want to use you more. Amen. Somebody ought to say amen. Somebody right here, right now is suffering from this very same thing that I'm talking about. You're overworked and you're underpaid. There's somebody suffering right now. Know what I'm talking about. The more you give, the more they require of you. There's somebody here right now who knows what I'm talking about. But I tell you today, you don't have to cry no more. God is going to move the mountain in the name of Jesus. All you got to do is call upon his name. Amen. Amen. Seeing the man who was healed standing beside him. They had nothing to say in opposition, but when they had commanded them to leave the council, they conferred with one another, saying, what shall we do with these men? Yeah. Now they're ready to get rid of them. They can't do nothing with them. They want to get rid of you. Yeah. <laughs> no matter where you go, there's going to be somebody who can't do nothing with you, so they're going to try and find a way to get rid of you. Some of you are fit and well trained to be the supervisor and you're up for promotion and they don't want to give it to you. But I want you to know today they're going to try and get rid of you. But in the name of Jesus, you will be promoted. Amen. God looks out for his people no matter what you're going through. God looks out for his people. The Bible says for that a notable sign has been performed through them is evident to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it, but in order that it may spread no further among the people, let us warn them to speak no more to anyone in this name. Amen. Mm. And some people don't want you to use the name of Jesus because they realize the power that it has. Amen. There's some people who are afraid of the name of Jesus because they realize the power that it has. My brothers and my sisters, you need to just shout with a loud voice, Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Things will move in the name of Jesus. And some people just want you to shut up about Jesus. But how can you shut up about somebody that's been so good to you? How can you shut up about somebody who made a way for you? How can you shut up about somebody that keeps you happy when you want me to be sad? How can I shut up about somebody who does marvelous works for me, even when I don't take care of myself? He's somewhere looking out for me. How do you want me to shut up about the ram in the bush? How do you want me to shut up that when you tried to crucify me, he took the place for me? How do you want me to shut up when I feel so good about where he's brought me from? So they called them and charged them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, uh, whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge, for we cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard. Peter and John walking with Jesus saw some things. How do you want me to shut up when I am an eyewitness about what has taken place and witness the goodness that has taken place right there in front of me? I am a witness for the Lord. I can't shut up. When they have further threatened them, and you best believe that somebody going to threaten you. The Bible says probably about the end times is going to be a great falling away from the church. Amen. The Bible says round right about the end times, yeah. you're going to be killed for being a Christian. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, don't worry about that. Amen. You serve a God who can make ways out of no ways. Amen. 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 When they have further threatened, they let them go. Finding no way to punish them because of the people. 
for all were praising God for what had happened. Amen. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. For the man on whom this sign of healing was performed was no more than 40 years old. Amen. Everybody witnessed what had taken place. They saw a crippled man who had been crippled for quite some time because he was up in his 40s. They saw this man be healed in the name of Jesus by the authority and the power of God in the name of Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, there is authority, there is power in the name of Jesus. Sweet Christ, 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 s
Thank you. 